My name is Catherine. I am doing a course in DIT called Visual Merchandising and the course basically is about visual merchandising. You are visually um, decorating, designing and displaying things so that it looks more appealing to the eye and it draws customers in to shops. Mainly we work on displays for windows and in-store shop displays. It's really fun, it's really creative, uh, it really tests you. Um, it's, it's very kind of, there's, there's almost a science behind everything. You get to learn about colours, what colours really attract people in, like the colour red would be very striking and alert, so that would really draw people's eyes. Um, even to how you'd arrange certain things as well. Different type of heights and things like that and points and where you'd actually just position things so that everything kind of looks better or get it from the best kind of angle that you can get it to. I was really, really lucky um, that I got placed in Brown Thomas for my work experience. It wasn't like the Devil Wears Prada or anything like that. It was really cool. I got to work with the window display team. It was kind of a magical thing because when I was a little girl, my granny used to always take me in to see them. And I used to think, oh, I'm going to do that when I'm older. And then for years, I never really thought about it until about last year when I saw the course. And I was kind of like, oh, I can actually do that. It was really good. I was really worried about working there because um, I don't really know brands or anything. And it was, it was just really different and really nice to actually be in the actual industry that we're training to be in. And it was really kind of cool seeing the way that they actually put things together. So we had to like string baubles thousands of baubles, um, hang them all up in big groups. As you'll see them down there, like they're, there's just masses and masses of colors. And then we luckily got to work on the poodles and they were like, we just want really, really gay hairdresser poodles. And it was a lot of fun, really, really tricky because the windows are a lot smaller than they actually look. Because you'd have about four people working in those windows and you would never believe that we'd fit in there. I'm really looking forward to going back to working with them again next year, hopefully. <laughs> I'm working on our Christmas windows. We have been given a 70s song that we have to base our window on. We have to look at the lyrics behind the song. We have to investigate about the actual band or singers, learn about the history of it. Uh, so it's really good. It kind of tests you and you learn a lot from it as well. My song is Brass in Pocket by The Pretenders. <laughs> It's a very kind of flirty song, so um, I'm trying to create a 70s diner and I'm trying to make it look very kind of black and white and I'm going to use the colour red to attract in people to look at my mannequin. My mannequin's hopefully going to have a very 70s wrap dress on. She's going to be the only thing that's in colour in the window and really, really hope that it all works out and I think having the red with the black and white will really draw attention in. sick of hearing it at this stage. It's actually, it's stuck in my brain. I, I dream of it. <laughs> my first idea was to have a peacock because I thought peacock is very, um, very kind of a show off -y. But then I think the diner was more kind of had a 70s vibe off it. And I think you'd hear that kind of music in a 70s uh, style diner as well. It's a really good song though. <laughs> it's so catchy. And it's really cool. I'm going to play it in the window as well. <laughs> Just to uh, remind the lecturers that this is what they gave me to work with. <laughs> we don't actually have a lot of money. We don't actually get given any kind of money whatsoever. So this is all kind of do it by yourself. I managed to save up about 100 euro. So this is kind of my diner stool. I'm going to spray this silver, hopefully. Trying to make one of our campus tables look like a, a 70s diner table. This was uh, one of the, the first window uh, props I had to make for my window for this year. We had to design a hat based on an architect and my architect was Michael Scott and Michael Scott um, designed the Bazaar's building. It had some really good mosaics and things like that in it so I took that inspiration to make into a hat. So this is the kind of shape I did. I tried to copy some of the mosaics in the actual building and um, I had to cut all of this glass by hand and it took a very long time and I got lots of cuts. Uh, Wednesday next week I'm going to start installing from two o'clock. So it usually takes about two, three hours just to actually paint the window whatever colour I needed to. Leave that dry for about an hour. That's when you start then moving in your props. Hopefully if they're all made, they're all ready to go in so it's a lot easier. Um, 
you usually end up suspending some things, um, especially if we're putting mannequins, we have to strike mannequins. Striking mannequins is making sure you wire them up so they don't fall. It takes about two, three hours painted, bring in the props, um, then you, you're kind of adding in all the little kind of finishing touches things. Then usually we start uh, fixing up the finishing touches. So the finishing touches will be kind of like um, taking out any unused staples, um, painting any bits that have been knocked, um, taking out any wires, uh, all the kind of little knick-knack pieces, touching up paint, um, finishing, making sure that your mannequin is dressed properly and nothing just looks odd. So there, there's so much to really kind of take into account when you're doing things like this. Very, very hands-on. can be very stressful at times because it's so hands-on. It's all continuous assessment as well. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's really enjoyable. There's, there's little things in it that's, that make you want to stay. <laughs> like there's times where you're just like, oh, where the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> Sorry.